I'm going to give a bit of a basic demo on how to score some trophies. I've got a goat, a cat, and some pig tusks. The cat can be measured the same way as a fox, or vice versa. A fox can be measured the same way as a cat. Same basic measurements. What you'll need is a tape. I use a thin seamstress tape with inch markings on it, with eighth and sixteenth marks on it. A pair of verniers and a steel tape to verify the tape, uh, the seamstress tape. We'll do a goat first. This goat's been boiled out. Generally, the first thing you'll do when you shoot a goat, while the horns are still fixed to the base cap, is to measure his spread. And we'll measure from the outside tip to the outside tip. And we go to the next nearest eighth of an inch, which that one's just over 31 and 7 eighths, which would make it a 32 inch spread goat. That's your spread, 32 inches. The next thing you'll do, easier to do once it's boiled, you can remove the horn, is you'll measure the base of the horn. Now the tape needs to go 100% onto horn. You'll see there's an indentation here where there's no horn. You don't measure across like that because there's not 100% horn there. You'll find you wrap it around square, right around, you'll see there, I've just lipped the horn, right around to the other side, lap it over it, I've got just over the seven inches, which is seven and one eighth inch. That's for the right horn, and the left horn, do the same thing. Come around square. Make sure the tape is 100% over the horn. That one there is just over the 7 inches as well. So that's 7 and 1 8 inch as well. So they're equal. If this one was 7 inches and this one was 7 and 1 8, you double the smallest measurement, which would give you 14 inch bases. This being the case, it's 14 and 2 8 plus the 32 is 46 and 2 eighths. Then we measure the length of the horn, which is from the bottom here, around the fighting edge, to the very tip. You set your tape on the edge of the fighting edge. You'll notice there's a little lip there, which is calcium, or uh, sort of was soft tissue that's now hardened. We go to the edge of that fighting edge. And when we go around the fighting edge, we don't push it into the dips. So there's a prime example just here. We run from the leading edges, don't push it in like that. So we run right around the fighting edge. It is easy once the horns are boiled off like this because you can rotate the horns. You'll see that it is 26 and just over the 2 eighths, so that makes it 26 and 3 eighths for the left horn. Measure them both. Once again, we don't dip the tape. Another good example. So we had 26 and 3 eighths for the left horn. We have 26 and 4 eighths. This one is just over the 26 and 3, so we go to the next eighth, which is 26 and 4 eighths. So with all these measurements, we can add them up. We double the smallest measurement. The spread is only one measurement. So it's our 32 inches. Our bases are the same, so we can just 
double that same measurement and we double the smallest measurement on the length of the horn because we can't we can't double the longest measurement because there's something missing uh, the trophy is basically it's got to be equal so you can't double something that isn't there but you can double the smallest measurement so when we add all these up together it comes up with a 99 Douglas point gate which is quite a representative gate